Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms of Buddy. It is time for Tackle My TBR Shelf. So, last week I finished Speak Softly, She Can Hear by Pam Lewis. I ended up really enjoying this story, you guys. I gave it four stars. This is the one that had a really low rating on Goodreads, but I went ahead and read it anyway because I've had it on my shelf forever. So, it was really good, you guys. You've got um, Naomi and Carol are your two main characters. Your main character is Carol. And they're going to this very elite school in Manhattan, and they decide, hey, we want to lose our virginity before we graduate. Um, Carol is 16 years old, she's going to graduate when she's 17, and in comes Eddie, and that's who she loses her virginity to. Eddie is a very ominous, odd character. Um, he is definitely a character that you just will not like. Um, they do their thing, and something horrific happens, and Carol just does not know what to do. I mean, she's 16 years old. She's just, she just doesn't understand it. She just doesn't know. She needs to grow up really fast now because of the choices that she made. And um, that's pretty much the story. That's all I want to tell you guys. So, you know, don't judge a book by what it's rated. I really enjoyed this. I ended up giving this one four stars. The next book that I completed was The Night Stalker by Chris Carter. This is book number three in the Robert Hunter Thriller series. You guys, his writing is fantastic. I absolutely love his his writing. It's so fluid. Um, this is book number three, so I've got oh, eight more to go, I think. I have all of them but the newest release. But anyway, you can probably read these. If you just want to grab one to read it, you can do that because they're different cases in each book. But if you want to learn about our main detective, Robert Hunter, you should probably read them in order. And that's when the serial killer is mainly focusing on the victim rather than on the detectives. So everything points towards him actually having a vendetta against each victim, if that makes any sense. Um, they're finding them with their, their mouths are stitched shut. And that's all I'm going to tell you about that. There's more things, but I'm just going to leave that to you to read. Um, and then Robert has got to figure it out with his partner Garcia. And they got to figure out what's going on, who's doing it, why, when, where, all that good stuff. Fantastic, you guys. I gave us five stars. And then I picked up The Key to Fear by Kristen Cast. This is just like a delirium do-over, pretty much. Um... But in this one, it's not love that's the disease. It is touch that can transfer this disease. Whatever the disease is. Um, and if you're caught touching somebody or kissing or hugging or any of that, you're at their hands. They can either put you into a rehabilitation or they can just kill you. It's pretty much the story. Um, it was just okay. It was three and a half stars I gave it. Um, like I said, it's like a delirium do-over. If I had to choose between the two, I would choose Delirium. Um, it was fluid. I mean, it did. I it I did read it fast, but I don't know. It was just okay. And then, as you guys know, I have been reading Imaginary Friend, and I am almost halfway through the book. Um, this one, you guys, is a ride. This is a ride. Um, it's kind of Stephen Kingish. And I don't know when I'll finish this because, you know, now it's spook season and I've got my readathon to do. I have not picked up a book yet for that, but I will be later today. So, um, yeah, halfway through, just about very Stephen Kingish. ish um, This is the one where a mother and her son, they escape her new boyfriend because uh, her first husband died and escaped. And they moved to the small town, and they did that to get away, and it's this kind of, it's small enough she thinks she'll be safe there. Her son disappears into the woods 
for six days and comes back. And he's a, kind of a different child, and she's got to figure it out. And that's pretty much the story, you guys. There's so much going on in this right now, but I'm enjoying every minute of it. So if you get a chance to read Imaginary Friend, pick it up and read it. This I'm reading on my Kindle or on my tablet, actually, because the font is so small in this. It's just really hard to focus on that tiny, tiny font. So much easier on my tablet. But yeah. So I'm still reading that one, and that is what I did for Tackle My TBR Shelf. Um, I got three books finished. One of them, of course, I was already almost done with it. But I did pretty good. I'm doing pretty good on my Tackle My TBR Shelf. But that is it for this video, you guys. What did you read last week? Let me know in the comments below. But that's it. Thanks, guys, for staying tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.